Hi and welcome to the Scratch Solar System activity pack. Um, this activity pack looks at the planets and all the other things that make up our solar system, how the planets all move around the sun and then goes on to guiding you through creating a model of the solar system for yourself in Scratch. So firstly if we just think about what the solar system actually is, um, the solar system is everything that travels around our star, the Sun. So the Sun is one of the many stars out there and our solar system is made up of all the different things that travel around or orbit around the Sun. So this includes the eight planets that we know of, um, at least five dwarf planets, um, including Pluto, for example. Uh, hundreds of moons which are travelling around these planets, um, similar to our own moon, and also thousands of asteroids, comets and meteoroids which are smaller bits of ice and rock that are flying around as well. So all of these different things are orbiting around our sun and that's what makes up our solar system. Beyond our solar system there are thousands of other planetary systems just like it with different planets and items moving around other stars in the galaxy, the Milky Way. Um, beyond that, there's millions of other galaxies that make up the known universe. So when we talk about space, the uh, the scale is huge. Um, but for this activity pack, we're just focusing on our solar system. So we, as we mentioned, we have eight planets within our solar system, including our own. Um, so hopefully you're able to name these in their order from the sun. So starting with the closest planet to the sun, which is Mercury. Um, that's the smallest planet in the solar system. Um, that is Mercury there. Um, the next planet in our solar system is Venus. So even though this isn't the closest planet to the sun, this is actually the hottest planet because it has a really dense atmosphere. Um, the next planet, really recognisable with all the blue there, that is our planet, the Earth, which is the only planet we know of where there is life. Um, the next planet, known as the red planet, is Mars. Um, so known as the red planet because it's got lots of uh, iron oxide on its surface, which we also know as rust covering its surface. That's why we call it the red planet. Um, after Mars, um, there's a big gap in the solar system and there's a thing called the asteroid belt, which goes through there. Um, so lots of asteroids traveling around between Mars and the next planet. That's also the end of the terrestrial planets, the planets that are made of rock, and we then move on to the gas giants. So Jupiter is the first of the gas giants and the biggest planet in our solar system. Um, you can see in the image there, it's got that huge red spot, which is a storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. Um, so the next planet in our solar system is Saturn, very famous and recognisable because of the, its really impressive ring system going around it, um, which is made of all smaller bits of rock and ice and dust. And then we get to Uranus, which is our next gas giant, and Neptune toward the edge of the solar system, um, where it's very, very cold. So they are all our planets in the order from the Sun. Um, and as we mentioned, these planets travel around the sun and we call this an orbit. So one full journey, complete journey around the sun once is called an orbit. Now for Earth, our planet, one orbit takes 365 days, which as we know is a year. So one year is the length of time it takes for our Earth to travel fully around the sun once. But every planet having being a different distance from the sun, has a different orbit length. It takes different amount of time to travel once fully around the sun. So the first challenge in this activity pack is going to be to research online um, how long it takes for all of the other planets to travel around the sun in days. So in Earth days. So if you go onto Google and just type in um, orbit of Mercury in days, it will tell you the answer in Earth days. Um, do this for all of the planets and make a note of your answers because we will need to use those later when we are coding our model of the solar system in Scratch. So it's very important that you find these in Earth days for that model to work later on. Once you have found all of the uh, orbits, um, we'll then need to work out 
how fast we want our planets to move within our model. So to make our, the movement of the planets in our scratch model look accurate, um, we'll be telling the different planets that we make within Scratch to move at different speeds around the sun. Now, the speeds that we're going to give them are not the actual velocities that they are traveling within space. Um, they will just be a speed relative to the movement of the Earth so that when we look at the model, we can see how fast or slow another planet moves compared to our Earth traveling around. So it's just relative to the Earth is the speed that we're working out. And because we're doing it relative to the Earth, to the Earth the sum that we'll need to do to work that out is 365 divided by the length of orbit in days of the planet, and that will give us the speed of the planet that we will be using within our Scratch program. So if you filled in the first table with the time to orbit the sun in days, the second table on your worksheet has a section for the speed of the planet. So you need to go through and do this sum for each of the planets, 365 divided by the um, time to orbit the sun in days, and that will give you the speed. So for example, um, if we look at Mercury, Mercury would be 365 divided by 88. Um, so there's one of the answers for you. Um, 365 divided by 88, which is 4.15. So when we come to um, code our planets within Scratch, we will need that.